Welcome back, everybody, uh, to the Gulf Coast Gearheads podcast. Uh, the, your hosts here, Jacob and Josh, uh, have something different for you today. So we had somebody write in to us uh, asking what vehicle they should look into getting. Because in today's market, Josh, with the amount of brands and manufacturers, dealerships and models that everybody makes, it can kind of seem overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, so billions and billions and billions. <laughs> Of vehicles. So <laughs> what we're going to do is basically narrow that search down for this listener so then they have right. a more direct path into their car buying experience. So let me give you some of the details here, Josh, and then you can kind of name some of the vehicles that we've already discussed, and then we will go into each one uh, from there. But basically, sure. we have a current college student who is trying to graduate, uh, was supposed to be in May, but might not be until October. So it'll be kind of a little bit different, but uh, going to soon. Be, yeah, so it will be soon. But they're trying to become a teacher in out of all of these school districts that this person has applied for or shown interest in in the Houston area, the average pay is about $50,000. So that gives our budget, okay? They're looking for a vehicle that has reliable MPG. It's going to be right. an everyday commuter. Uh, they don't want right now kind of drives like a little uh, a sedan, like a Chevy Cruze. And um, you you know this listener. He's a six foot two, two hundred and eighty five pound football player. So it's it's a tight squeeze for him. So he wants something bigger, uh, right. but not so big that it's like a uh, gas like guzzler ton truck yeah like a diesel truck or super duty nothing larger than like an f-150 or silverado so it's bigger than a cruise smaller than a uh, you know a regular full-size truck so somewhere in the middle is what we're looking for something that's relatively cheap to repair and reliable if i didn't say that already so with those details in mind what are some of the vehicles you have right off the bat i think truck was also something he threw in there so okay what, so what immediately nissan frontier have to throw okay. it in there. Lowest starting cost for new when it comes to trucks in that segment. Right. Um, as well as I would put the Chevy Colorado. Both okay. of those cars, low starting prices. I mean, if you're going to stay pretty basic, I think those are nice. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't bring up the Ranger or the Tacoma. Those are both really good vehicles, but they are both pretty expensive when you start comparing them in their segment. So just to be fair, I think that's where you're looking is with the Frontier and the Colorado and also the GMC Canyon, but that's pretty similar to Colorado. So whether or not you want the GMC badge on there or the Chevy. On pretty there. much. And I mean, just like what you said, uh, if these are all new vehicles we're talking about, used vehicles, it's going to be different for all those trucks. But if we're talking new, those are some good picks to go from. Um, like Josh said, if you're... Uh, have more money for a more expensive truck and you want the Toyota or the Ford badge and you want one that's going to tow more stuff with it because those Tacomas and Rangers are going to tow a little bit more than the gas right. uh, Frontier and the gas Colorado. Now, obviously, Colorado and Canyon, they have a diesel engine available to you, a little bit more expensive, but it's going to tow more because it's a diesel. Right. Um, but for an everyday commuter, this this listener they're not going to tow anything crazy they really were just looking to get the truck experience with an everyday commuter all of these trucks not only have a v6 option but also have a inline four option nice uh, so uh, with the inline four it's not as powerful of an engine so your speed to it's going to be a little bit lower this person's already kind of a slow driver so maybe that's not like a big thing to them but like i said earlier they're not trying to tow a whole lot so they really don't have to use the truck to tow. So if you're trying to save more money, you do have lower engine options for all of those trucks. Right. And another thing when you both, when you're looking at both of these trucks or any of these trucks or anything like that, I recommend when you get to the dealership to look at them, sit in the back seat, see if that seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. the, the room on these smaller trucks isn't as large as some of the bigger ones. There's yeah. also a multitude of different trim levels. When it comes to trucks, you can kind of get lost in it, but that's definitely something where we recommend, especially you go to the dealership, um, look for the four door ones, the yeah. two door ones, that's a work truck. And if you're looking for a commuter that makes sense, it's more like logical and sensible with what your everyday driving and um, chores you're doing, anything like that. Definitely a four door truck. Yeah. And this is something I, I talked to you about at work when I was buying my F-150 is I was looking at what they call uh, super cab or 
king right. cab for nissan or extended cab for like the old gm trucks but basically what that is is the regular size front door and then like the half back door that opens and like the suicide style doors those trucks just like what he was just saying sit yourself in the back seat and see if it's comfortable to sit in for somebody else there's no room in any no. manufacturer's truck that comes in that configuration no um I was looking at a truck like that for F-150. Now, the larger trucks, the half tons, they're going to have more space in those because they just are bigger vehicles, but it's still not very much. They, they and, cost a little more, but definitely worth the investment in the long run. Yeah, and all um, these vehicles, they're going to give you quite a bit of reliability. I think they're easier and cheaper to fix. Not a big yeah. deal. So you should be good to go with either the Frontier or the Canyon or even the Colorado. Yeah, I'm definitely happy that I got a full crew cab style truck with the four doors so right but let's say so we have other options with this josh let's say maybe we don't want the truck bed we don't want the open end we want something that's closed but we don't want to buy a truck bed cover or a camper shell maybe we could look at into an suv so taking those same details what are some other suvs you would recommend to this listener now in um Contrast to the trucks, I actually would go with either like a Toyota RAV4 or even a Ford Escape. Um, Chevy Equinox is in there. I think um, Nissan's had a little bit of a rough time recently. The Rogue is still very popular. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, in my opinion, I, I wouldn't buy one right now. I think you get a better um, bang for your buck with the Escape or even the, like my personal favorite, the RAV4, as well as a Honda CRV. Um, all of those vehicles have the same capabilities. I think some have better gas mileage than others. When you're talking about Honda and Toyota, both of those can crest at the 30 miles per gallon on the highway, even a little more if you're not killing it. And like you said, our viewer is not a speedster. So I think definitely both of those vehicles um, in that type of situation are going to see upwards of 29 to 30 miles per gallon on the highway, which is that's pretty good for an SUV. You have a lot of capabilities with those as well as. Um, the newer designs, I think all of these vehicles we just named off look good. They even have the newly redesigned RAV4 for 2019, as well as the Escape for 2019-2020 look. Yeah. So, yeah, we have the truck options. You also have the SUVs options. Uh, so we hope that this helped narrow that viewer search down. If you're another listener and you kind of have a similar situation where you're looking for a new vehicle, whether it's a new or a used vehicle, but there's just too many cars to cycle through on your own and you want to know, hey, can you help me narrow this search? Send right. us in your questions and, you know, send us, here's the details, here's what I'm looking for, here's my budget. Just let us know and we'll help you find a vehicle that's right for you. Hey, and just so you guys know, this isn't the end all say all. Like if you guys have preferences for Jeep, I mean, any of these other brands, if you find something that makes sense for you, go with it. Like if it, if it feels good in your gut, that's, that's what it, you need to go with. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're going to be driving it every day and your everyday driver. Don't yeah, make your us. decision based on us. Do, drive something you like, you know, do your research. Um, but other than that, let us know what you thought of this video and anything like that. If you have any comments or anything like, like that, leave them in the comment section below. Go ahead and let us know on Facebook. Uh, Twitter and Instagram, what you guys think. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead and support us. If you like this uh, video as well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Um, let us know what you think. But outside of that, that's Gold Coast Gearhead with me, Josh, and Jacob here, signing yep. off for you guys. See you all next time.